Hey guys, TSL here, back with a brand new How to Make a Game Like Super Power Training Simulator video. In today's video, we will be making the fusions, so let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is go into Server Script Service in our leader stats, and we are going to want to add a few new things. So come down over here after the class and we'll have a local fusion uh, or we'll call it best fusion is equal to instance.new folder on the player we'll do best fusion dot name is equal to best fusion so then under here we're going to do local best fusion name is equal to instance dot new string value comma best fusion we'll do best fusion name dot name is equal to fusion name and we'll do best fusion name dot value is equal to none so then we'll do local best fusion mult is equal to instance dot new and this will be an int value and this will also be inside the best fusion folder the name of this best fusion mult will just be equal to fusion mult and the best fusion mult dot value will just start out being one all right, so the next thing we want to do is make a module script inside server storage. We'll call this one Fusions module. So then what we're going to do is say local fusions is equal to blank, blank table and return fusions. Then here we'll do fusions, fusions, dot fusion one is equal to name is equal to noob or name none will do um we'll do the price equals zero multi is equal to one owned is equal to true and rank is equal to one so then, for every every fusion we add, we're just going to copy this and paste it, change this to the next number, so fusion 2, change the name, so that our next fusion is a werewolf, and the price will be 500, and the multi will be 2, owned will be false, and rank will be 2. So then, we just do the same thing, we just copy, and we paste, change this to 3, and I'm only going to have three fusions for now, so we'll just change this to, for the name to be a Minotaur. And the price will be a thousand, the multi will be four, and own false, and rank three. Alright, so now back in Service Script Service, add a new script in, and we'll call this Fusion By. We'll do local rep or we'll do local rs is equal to game clone get service replicate storage we'll do local function by and um, also before this we, we want our local ranks is equal to require game colon get service server storage dot fusions fusions module all right so I'm gonna just call the ranks because it's easier than to call it fusions but it's actually called fusions but in the script so we'll just reference it as ranks so I do local owned ranks also this needs to take the player local own ranks is equal to an empty table we'll do local um, total power is equal to player total power 
um, we'll have for rank for underscore comma rank in pairs. Um, ranks do if rank owned then we'll do table dot insert own ranks comma rank so over right here we're just checking if the rank is owned and if it is then we put in our own ranks table and we do that for every rank inside of our ranks module all right so we'll do the best rank is equal to owned ranks and then hashtag owned ranks so own ranks it will get all of the own ranks and then using the square brackets we can reference an index so we reference the very last index so the length of it is the last index which will be the last element which is their last rank so then we'll do local next rank is equal to um, best rank or is equal to ranks and use the square brackets fusion and concatenate best rank dot rank plus one so this will just get the next rank in our ranks um so then what we're going to want to do is check if next rank and then if there is a next rank so if we we don't already have the last rank then we'll just check if the total power dot value is greater than or equal to next rank dot price. If it is, then we'll just do player dot strength dot value is equal to zero. Player dot PSP dot value is equal to zero. Player dot endurance dot value is equal to zero and we'll do local uh, new best is equal to next rank and we'll do player dot best fusion dot fusion name dot value is equal to new best dot name and let's just copy this and then we'll do fusion mult multi dot value is equal to new best dot mult e um and yeah that should hopefully be good so now what we're gonna do is just close this stuff go and start a gui and uh classes slash fusions this frame let's try to make it visible don't know why it doesn't let me do that um if we make this one visible which it already is I don't know. It doesn't let me make this frame visible for some reason. So what we're going to have to do is just make a text button here. And we'll just call it uh, by class or by fusion. And then what we actually have to do is go and replicate storage, make a remote event. This remote event will be called fusion up. So then we actually have to go back in server script service, not server storage. And just do rs dot fusion up call dot on server event colon connect function or just connect by all right so now that we have that now we can insert a local script in our by fusion button and this will just do script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and we'll just delete that and we'll do game colon get service replicate storage dot fusion up colon fire server all right cool so that should work well but the last thing I want to do is I've already done this because I I don't want to waste time in the video to just show you me copying pasting stuff so basically in the main strength event what I added to every single one of these is a fusion multi variable and a strength multi variable in the um in the the I added those 
in every single one of the <laughs> every single one of the events. So yeah, just I have to add dot value to all of the strength multis. Or actually, I forgot to add them in the rest of them. So let's just add this right here. Alright, and then basically you want to basically do the same thing for the psychic and the endurance. You just want to get a psychic multi for psychic, so like dot p multi dot value, and the fusion multi is still the same. And then down here, just add the times fusion mult times strength mult. Um, and then do the same thing for endurance. So yeah, let's uh, let's test these out. Alright, so here we are, um, let's, uh, we already have enough total power because we have 1,600 total power, so if we, uh, click this button, Fusion Multi is not a valid member, I think we called it Fusion Mult, didn't we? Yes, we did. Alright, so let's, um, let's, uh, change that to be called Fusion Multi in our leader stat script leader stats fusion multi alright so let's try this once again and uh, just press this press that alright so um, now all of our stats are zero and it, my strength multiplier if you see is one and if I click I get plus two and it says plus two now as well um, I didn't add it for any of the other stats, the fusions. So I will do that before next video. But anyways, guys, as you see, it works, and it'll stack with our other multipliers. So yeah, now it's giving us plus 8. It says plus 4, but it's giving us plus 8. We'll have that all figured out by next video. Um, but anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave that, leave a like and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.